I'm uh, Dr. Brian Chambers. I'm an uh, engineering team leader here for technical services and uh, also a research engineer, as we call it, uh, which means I'm responsible for uh, talking with our clients, uh, understanding their materials evaluation and research needs. Uh, when we get the project in, bring that in, uh, direct the research and evaluations through the, the laboratory, and then communicate the results and conclusions of the research uh, back to our clients. So in, in one particularly large program, we were looking at the, these different environments, and we went to run the, the acidizing tests at the extreme bottom hole temperature, which was uh, 450 Fahrenheit. Uh, what we found was that our equipment, which is a uh, Hastelloy C276 uh, construction, uh, was experiencing extreme corrosion. And this was leading not only to concerns over safety because of the loss of wall thickness of our pressure vessels, which are operating at uh, you know, thousands of uh, PSI, uh, but also because the uh, environmental impact, we're trying to test uh, uh, titanium alloys and now we're polluting the, the solution with large amounts of nickel and chrome and iron. And you know, this is not uh, a reasonable simulation for what would actually be happening in the field if you have a, a titanium tubular. And so we felt the need to explore options. Uh, what could we do to make a vessel that was resistant to the corrosion present uh, under these extreme conditions. Uh, we, we typically use C276 for all of our testing because it's highly resistant to corrosion and cracking, but we found a condition where that was no longer true, and so we had to explore other options. So we inquired about the uh, ability of them to take one of our pressure vessels and apply this uh, tantalized surface alloying treatment uh, to it so that we could um, you know, impart the corrosion resistance uh, of tantalum to the, the pressure vessel uh, so that we can maintain the, the pressure integrity we needed um, using the types of equipment we're familiar with and just give it the high temperature acid resistance uh, we were interested in. So the, the tantalum process uh, we were interested in was taking uh, a single autoclave to give us the um, corrosion resistance we needed for these rather extreme acidizing tests. So we took a uh, 316L stainless steel uh, two liter autoclave. It's, uh, um, I think it's three inch uh, inner diameter with about a 17 inch depth. So it's a, not, not a small, not a trivial sounding uh, autoclave. Uh, and the associated parts with this. So the, you know, all of the typical uh, pressure line parts, we have uh, purge tubes, valves, uh, connections, uh, the thermal well, uh, as well as all that, we also have um, coupon holders. So these are, you know, uh, stainless steel rods with uh, all threads. So, you know, threaded parts, the nuts that go on those all threads. Uh, basically everything we need to uh, suspend corrosion test coupons in the solution contained in the autoclave, as well as everything we need to, to plumb up the autoclave in terms of giving it its pressure integrity and the control of the environment we need. And what we can see here is the tantalon treated uh, head covering the entire interior surface. Uh, normally there would be a tantalon treated uh, metal seal ring here. So all the autoclaves we use have metal to metal seals. Uh, this is the tantalon treated uh, thermal well. So a thermal couple will feed down in through this port into the, the autoclave itself to ma accurately monitor temperature. Uh, this is our uh, gas in tube coming through here and what you'll see here is uh, for this test we had run a C276 uh, what we call dip tube, a gas in purge tube and you can see that the C276 no longer looks like C276 so the high nickel alloy has now been imparted, you know, extreme corrosion resistance, ex uh, extreme corrosion susceptibility, uh, gone through some thinning and now even has a, a rust color which is definitely not uh, indicative of the typical C276 surface finish. And the valves up top here you can see are the, the tantaline, tantaline treated uh, 316. We have some uh, backup valves, so these are the same valves used on top of the autoclave and they've been, uh, you know, the interior uh, surfaces that actually see service have been uh, undergone the, the tantaline uh, treatment and these again are, are 316 with the tantaline uh, surface alloying. 
perhaps most importantly, we have the uh, you know ferrules and nuts that make up and hold the the, the equipment, the the pressurized plumbing in place. And so it's very important for these parts to have the corrosion resistance of the tubing and valves in place. Otherwise, if these fail, we're just going to blow a, a piece of tubing out, uh, you know, due to the back pressure in the autoclave. And so we've been, you know, very satisfied with these uh, ferrules and nuts to actually hold on and, and grip the, the uh, tubing in place. And that's a, a very important part of this is that the, the tantaline, uh, you know, provides this surface alloy that's effective even after you've uh, crimped in on, on a piece of tubing using a, a ferrule and nut. We, uh, we ran a couple tests. The, the more relevant test we ran was in uh, a high temperature, so 450 degrees Fahrenheit with uh, hydrochloric acid and acetic acid uh, with uh, sour gas, so with uh, uh, one atmosphere of hydrogen sulfide present. And so this is a you know very very extreme environment. This is a simulation of uh, you know ultra deep well acidizing, and uh, the way we we saw the results, you know every other alloy experienced either uh, complete dissolution of the coupons, or you know extreme loss in the, the range of you know uh, double digit inches per year corrosion rates, which are just extreme. You know you're losing you know over half the coupon in, a, in an eight hour exposure. Uh, the, the corrosion rate of all the other alloys uh, was totally unacceptable, whereas the, the tantalum surface treatment uh, provided effectively zero corrosion rate. There was nothing we could measure, no weight loss. So we were, we were surprised at the, the results in terms of the alloys that dissolved. We were pleasantly surprised that the, the tantalum alloy uh, held up. So we saw, you know, no, no attack on our, uh, either the, the coupons or, thankfully, uh, all the equipment we use. So the, the autoclave and then all of the associated uh, plumbing. And so the, the pressure integrity and the uh, surface integrity of all of those parts uh, were, were perfect after the, the exposure. And that gives us a lot of confidence going forward when we'll probably be using a lot less uh, aggressive environments that uh, the tantalum uh, surface alloy is going to hold up to the environments we expose it to.